Hi everyone, uh, my name is Winnie and welcome to my new video on uh, math learning walls. So this is my classroom, um, so I wanted my background to include um, my math learning wall and I wanted to show you what um, I put up there as well. So um, as you can see behind me, um, I've got the learning intentions and success criteria um, and I also have a um, whole class tracking sheet as well um, which has all of the goals and then I highlight um, the kids who are working on those goals and I just highlight their names and then um, if they have achieved that goal then I just tick it off and then that way um, I have a tracking sheet that's up there and it's ongoing and I can you know have a look and see um, yeah see where my whole class is at on one sheet and I can see um, what yeah what their needs are and I can cater for them um, individually or as a group or as a class etc and I can see all the trends um, so yeah and then um, I will also show you some um, free resources that I'm going to share um, in the description box below as well yeah so let me share my screen with you so that you can get a closer look on what my uh, math learning walls have looked like in the past, like when I've been in stage one classrooms or stage three classrooms, etc., cetera, um, and what they look like now. And yeah, hopefully you will get some um, ideas for, you know, what you might want in your room as well. Okay, so uh, I just wanted to start off with the purpose of so why um, why I have things up on my math learning wall and what their purpose is. So pretty much for um, it's for students, for teachers and for parents as well. So the when I have the learning intentions and criteria and the tracking sheets, it just means that um, kids know what they're learning. It just means that they um, yeah, I have a way of showing them how to be successful as well. And the tracking sheet helps them figure out, you know, this is where I'm at and this is where I'm going to go to next. Um, and then for us as teachers, it's really good because then it we know where all of our kids are at and it just informs our teaching and learning cycle. And it's such an easy way to report as well because you can see it against um, the syllabus outcomes and you can see where all your kids are at and you can see, you know, where where they are in terms of their, um, yeah, their um, year or their grade, etc. And then for parents, like whenever you have any parent-teacher interviews and you can, you know, go over to the wall and then you can show them, you know, this is where your child is at and they can see it against the syllabus outcomes. And yeah, even though we have names up and etc., the main focus is on that child's growth and their progress, um, not on anyone else's. And um, and my class, my whole class knows that they are not focused on anyone else. They're just focused on them. They know that you know this is the goal that they're on, and their focus is yeah all on their growth and their learning and their progress. So this is these are some of my um, walls that I had. Um, yeah, when I was on year two and year five. So um, <laughs> I used to call them bump it up walls, but you know, you can call them whatever you like. Um, and this was my year two one. So I had all my um, learning intentions criteria and I also had pictures um, from Teach Starter that I put in so that they could see, um, I could break it, break that learning goal down so that they could see what it was all about. Um, and um, yeah, back then I used numbers, but um, yeah, it just it just works as yeah. I just prefer names now, but um, you know, if you're more comfortable with numbers, then go for it. Um, I mean, yeah, it's not really a surprise. Like kids usually know where where they are at, or like where other people are at, and etc. But um, anyway, the focus is on their learning and their progress, and then. Um, I also had, even though it was year two, I also had stage two outcomes up on the wall as well because, um, you know, I've always, we always have kids who need to be extended and et cetera. So that's why I had that there as well. Um, and then this was for year five and, um, yeah, year five. And I also had some year six content in there as well and just broke it down and gave some examples underneath each goal. And I had their numbers ready to go so I could pop them um, yeah, on whatever goal. And yeah, I just ended up using names in the end. Um, but yeah, and then this is what I had last year, the beginning of last year. Um, I had like the 
learning intentions criteria up here, um, but obviously they've changed now so that I can put my own in there. Um, and the learning goals, um, I broke it down and I highlighted their numbers um, so that they could see what learning goals they were on. And then um, if they were on, for example, learning goal one, then they would go into the learning goal one box and they would grab their game or their, um, you know, worksheet or consolidating like activities or whatever it was. Um, so they knew to go to that box because box one had all of the goal one activities or um, box two had all of the goal two activities, etc. And then after they finish their activities, then they would do the exit slip and that will, um, you know, give me an idea of did they, um, did they understand it? Um, do they need more help? Do they need more time on this? Or um, do they need to do some more questions, etc.? cetera? Um, yeah, so that's what, that is what's on my wall. Um, yeah, and then, so this is a closer look. And I also, um, when I program, I also usually have a like mini project or, or word problems or open ended questions or whatever it is so that they can apply um, their knowledge into, you know, into a project or um, word problems or etc. That's usually the last goal. And yeah, this is what I, um, when I updated it, put in the learning um, yeah, learning intentions and success criteria that um, I put together, put that on my wall. And this is what it looks like from a distance last year. Um, yeah, so I had all my whole number, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and um, et cetera, et cetera. So that was just part of my wall that I had up and it was just so easy to see where everyone was at. And that's my wall now in my new classroom. Um, but yeah, obviously I've moved up my tracking sheet so that they were underneath the criteria. Um, and I have also, um, I've also tried this method as well, putting up the goals and then having student names underneath so that when, they're, um, when they have shown me that they can complete that goal and they understand it, then um, they, yeah, they get to move their names um, across to their next goal, etc. So that's also another way that you can do it. Um, I just wanted to show you where, like, for my free resources that I give out usually, um, they are, so for example, this is my channel, subscribe. Um, so in, yeah, so I've got some other, um, other resources as well. So I've got a video on how to track student progress and I put in, um, so the resources are, in here so they're in the description box so if you go down then um, you can click on the link and then you can go in um, and download your own copy your own editable um, tracking sheet and whole class tracking sheet there and I also have um, yeah another video on like um, assessments doing assessments without marking and in the description is usually where I put the links so the links for those are there um, so the resources that I am sharing with you look like this. So um, I've got, so I color coded them. So I've got um, kindergarten, I've got year one, I've got year two, year three, year four, year five and six. Now I'll just click into the year three one. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's got, you know, what we're learning to do. And in the resources, there's, you can, um, download a PDF version or you can do a PowerPoint so that you can edit it if you like. Um, so I've put in what they're learning to do, why, and then the criteria. And I've got that for all of whole numbers, um, sorry, number and algebra. So I've got whole number, addition and subtraction, multiplication, division, fractions and decimals, patterns and algebra. And I've got that from kindergarten to year six. And I'll just quickly show you how, um, like where I got, got this from as well. So um, for example, in the syllabus, so this is New South Wales. Um, if you're somewhere else, then you can most definitely edit yours to reflect, um, you know, the content from your state. So I'll just quickly show you where and how I got it. So pretty much I got the We Are Learning 2 from the outcome. And I also put the code up in the corner here. So that's in 
year three and year four. So that's the same. I also put in why. So I give examples of why we need to learn whole number or why we need additional subtraction or why we need multiplication, et cetera, et cetera. So it's all there. And it's just easy because I can just put it up on my um, interactive whiteboard and we can talk about it together um, so that they, they know why, um, my kids know why um, they're learning that. And then the criteria is just from here. So this is where I got it from. So that's where I put it in there. And I also put in that code as well um, so that, you know, you know, for reporting purposes and um, creating goals and et cetera. Um, so yeah, so that's there. And then that's all the year four and, you know, I've got it all for kindy to year six. So those are the free resources that I'm giving away. Um, and yeah, you can have a copy of that. Um, in terms of updates, so because um, I've only got it for whole num um, sorry, not whole num um, number and algebra, I'm still working on the measurement um, and geometry and the data, um, data stuff as well. Um, so if you do want an update on, um, you know, when these are ready and when, um, yeah, if you do want a copy of that as well when I have completed it then what you can do is you can um, I'll put a link to my blog and this is my blog and down here you can join the mailing list and then um, yeah so that you know whatever free resources um, that I upload, um, then I can just send you a quick email about it, letting you know, by the way, um, you know, I've updated the, um, I put in more resources or I put in the measurement and geometry or the data and, um, you know, statistics and probability, or if I have, um, you know, if I've got more of these tracking sheets or if I have more of these um, assessments um, ready to go, then I can send you a quick email to let you know, um, yeah, that it's there. So if you would like that, then just go into my blog and um, yeah, put in your email so that I can send you an email whenever um, new resources come up. Um, and then, yeah. Anyway, so I've got some other videos for teachers as well that are in, there are links there and videos for kids and all my resources for persuasive writing are in um, this link here, um, if you'd like to have a look. And I also created a video for parents so that they know um, how to help their kids um, write persuasively. Uh, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Um, remember to subscribe um, to my channel. I'm at Miss Winnie Tang um, on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, thank you so much for listening. And I will... Um, I'll stop share so that I can say bye and thank you for um, listening and um, yeah I hope that, that was all helpful for you um, and I hope you have a good weekend a week uh, etc all right see you everyone bye